A new treatment for hard to control high blood pressure could be available within months. The procedure takes less than an hour. It delivers a short blast of radio waves to the kidneys through a catheter. The results of a world first trial show that it works where other medications have failed and it could be used to treat other chronic conditions. Rebecca Barrett reports. Gail Lander spent 30 years trying to control high blood pressure with a range of medications, but she suffered adverse side effects and other allergic reactions. Well, often the readings were well over 200, which is considered to be sky high. The 67-year-old was the first person in the world to use the new device. The procedure involves inserting a catheter into the groin and up through the renal arteries to deliver radio frequency energy to the kidneys. It works by deactivating the nerves which play a key role in blood pressure control. Very, very simple, much easier than having a tooth extracted. An international trial of 106 patients in Europe and Australia found that for the half who had the treatment, most achieved a big drop in their blood pressure. What we could demonstrate is that those ones who were treated had a substantial reduction in blood pressure as opposed to the other group where virtually nothing changed at all. More than a quarter of Australians have high blood pressure. Half can't control it through medication, increasing their risk of heart attack, stroke and death. So by simply lowering blood pressure, we would anticipate a massive impact on the death mortality rate from strokes. This therapy may hold the promise to treat other conditions including heart failure, diabetes and chronic kidney disease. It's now been approved for use by the Therapeutic Goods Administration and will be available within 12 months. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News.